and welcome along and welcome back to Hope Belleron. As you can see by the glorious colour of our sunflowers, uh, that they are ready to harvest today. So we are going to be cracking on with that. Uh, before we do that and um, before we head down to the shop to grab ourselves a harvester, um, what I want to do is pop up to the cow field because something got released today which is absolutely perfect for our farm something that fits in really really well with how our setup works here and also something that means we can move forward and in these last few episodes that we've got at the moment um actually get ourselves going quite well so we've been trying to get a dairy and trying to set ourselves up with that we've not got a massive number of cows so we're not looking for something that can process a huge amount of milk at any one given time so we don't really need a um, a massively complicated dairy setup uh, and i was going to put sort of a little dairy in here instead i think what we're going to do is over this side here, we have a mod that came out today. So, uh, factories. Here we go. Uh, we've got two dairies. We've got a, a small dairy and a large dairy. Uh, oh, sorry, a cheaty dairy. So, we won't be using the cheaty one. But in, in sort of keeping with our setup that we've got on the farm and with our own windmill and things, um, I think we're, we're just going to get ourselves... Uh, a nice little uh, sort of dairy setup here at the top. Now, I don't know if it should go there or actually here. We'll, uh, we'll put it at the edge of our cow field. It's not going to cost much to put here um, because we have... Uh, it's, it's a fairly flat piece of land. So, plonk that there. And that then means that we can take the milk from our cows put them straight into our makeshift dairy we have here and uh, and produce stuff so we can we can take out uh butter cheese chocolate and raw milk we can actually create uh one-to-one -one raw milk although i don't think we need that for what we're gonna do um what we do need is we do need to create butter and so uh yeah 15 uh 15 liters of milk will create 13 liters of butter that should be all we need yeah we don't need chocolate we've got strawberries already we've got eggs um we're going to be getting some industrial sugar in when we need it uh so it is just milk and butter we need to start producing cakes so that's absolutely brilliant we can now spend the extra bit of money on grabbing ourselves a little milk trailer just to transport the milk from our uh, little cow pasture to our little makeshift dairy and uh, and get producing uh, butter, which is brilliant. So we can do uh, one tank of milk for uh, butter, one tank of milk for milk, and uh, yeah, transport it all down to the dairy or down to our bakery to uh, start baking cakes in the near future. First, though, and our more immediate thing is getting these sunflowers harvested so that we can start making some money off those. And today, I, seeing as we've saved a bit of money on the dairy, uh, we're going to hire a combine I have wanted to try out for a very long time. And uh, this this map sort of fits it. I think it might be an American one, uh, but I'm not sure. Uh, basically, it is... Well, let's just check the sales here. No, nothing in there. So it is this. Uh, this is the Lizard Twin Screw XR, uh, XBR2. I believe this was uh, by Sid Modding. We're going to get the base version of it and, uh, and lease that. Uh, grain tank extensions, we don't need any. We don't need numbers. We don't need oversized sign or CB radio. Uh, straw chopper foil, we are looking... Yeah, we're looking to chop the straw this year. So I am going to put that in. And that should stop it spreading out too much. We're not going to put a very wide setup on this. Uh, we are going to put a green star on because we want to have uh, GPS. Uh, we're going to go with the short pipe. 
engine setup. Uh, 306 horsepower should easily be enough to handle the uh, hills. Uh, we're going to put an all light configuration on. Uh, we are going to put GPS on. And I'm going to go for the Crawler 3, the slightly less wide versions of those. I've been trying to work out where the main color changes. And I can't see it. So uh, I'm going to just leave that as uh, as the darker one. And we will have no number plate on it because it is a least combine. So, uh, yep, that is great. Let's lease that. Uh, that is going to cost us nearly 11000 to lease it. Fine. Uh, that's absolutely okay. Uh, now, what headers go with this? Let's have a look at the combinations. Uh, while a 40-foot header would be great, um, I'm going to save myself a considerable amount of money in the leasing and grab a 30 foot one so we'll lease that as well and then we need to go and look at the combinations for that so fent power flow headers oh no no we don't want that we absolutely don't want that that is a huge waste of cash because we've got sunflowers ah what a waste of money yeah, we don't want that. We want a sunflower header. Uh, now, I don't know if they're under corn headers. No, we do know that we want a 30 foot header uh, and a 30 foot sunflower header at that. That is, uh, yeah, not a 12 meter. Is there a smaller sunflower header? There is, but it's really small. Uh, six meter. So, yeah, the but there is a 40 foot one. But I think I can't go with that. I think we're going to have to go with a corn header for it then. Uh, we want the smaller one. Maybe we can get the 9 meter Capello. Yep. I'm going to go with the 9 meter Capello for this then. Uh, we can't change the color on it. We're going to lease that. Oh, and that's so much more expensive. Is that more expensive than the 40 foot uh, sunflower one? No, it's about the same price. Uh, and I think we might have trouble with the 40 foot uh, sunflower one uh, with the setup. So, oh God, that's cost us, yeah, nearly 20,000 to do that. We should make more than that in the, uh, with the sunflowers uh, from sunflower oil, but it's. Uh, not a cheap setup, basically, for me going, I want to have a play around with this combine. But it should work fairly well. Uh, we want to empty this at about 80%. Uh, uh, we've got a 22. Is that not? That's not lined up. Uh, we've got a 22 litre or 22,000 litre trailer. Right, there we go. Get in here and connect that up. Okay, let's lift it. There we go. Come on. You can connect. There we go. Finally managed to get right in here. Have to unfold the whole thing. Right, fold that up. Fold that up. And uh, yeah, I'm going to send the truck back to the farm. And, uh, and then we're going to go up the top and get the... Uh, get the sunflowers started and hopefully our mistakes that we've made today because those were some pretty bad mistakes some proper rookie moves uh those shouldn't cause us too much of an issue so we'll park that next to that tractor and then with that going we can uh head back with this and head up to the field um, this is such a weird combine, and I am so pleased. Despite the, the slight mess-ups I've had with it, uh, I am so pleased to uh, finally be getting to use it. There are other fields of sunflowers and corn up by us, actually, that are waiting to be harvested. So we'll see how quickly this does and, uh, and how well we go. But if we can take on a couple of harvesting contracts... 
uh, than we will do because those will just put even more sunflower oil uh, into our production facilities and means that we'll, we'll be able to earn a ton more cash from these extra fields. So very much looking to do that. Let's bring this round and unfold it. Like so. And yeah, this is this is such a weird looking combine. It's from the 90s, I believe, uh, if I read the description of this properly. And, uh, and was a bit of an experiment at the time. Let's start this. Our tractor, oh, I'm sorry, our truck is back in the yard. It's telling me it's getting obstructed. So I will probably try and sort it at the bottom end. Uh, we planted this field across the slope. So uh, we will be setting the GPS uh, once we are going uh, across the field, not down as we are now. And uh, yeah, here's hoping for a bumper par harvest off here that will uh, do us well um, because, heck, this is going at a decent speed and uh, should handle things okay. I think we're going to do all right with this this year. One thing I already love about this combine is how maneuverable it is. It just... Yeah, it's brilliant. It's gone round this uh, area at the side here really, really well. And just uh, just been great. And on an unrelated note, that is the first time I've had a camera issue with a combine. So uh, we've been talking about this on a few of my recent videos and live streams. Um, where... I will get in a, uh, a piece of equipment. I will switch camera views. So from here to the outside. And suddenly I can't move my camera side to side. And the only way I can undo it is to jump out and jump back in. Now this is the first time I've had this issue with a combine. If I switch to the main body of the combine. I think I'll be able to change my camera without any issues and uh, and find that yeah i can freely move it so there's a definite bug there uh, i don't know what it's about with these uh, uh whether it's the way these are set up i need to kind of test it with some base game equipment but the base game equipment all, also doesn't react the same way um to a lot of a lot of the way these mods do when you've got a, an implement selected fairly sure yeah i can't raise or lower that front uh, that front implement which you can on a base game combine uh when you've got the main body of it selected so yeah there's something definitely a little bit weird going on there i don't know what it is but it feels like it's going slower up the hill but we're still running at the same speed as where as we were going down the hill so that's uh, a little bit odd and a little bit strange. Um, I don't quite know why that is. But yeah, definitely feels like it's uh, moving at different speed. But look at that maneuverability. I'm still going to take two headlands out um, because uh, that will help us to uh, move about a bit and, uh, and, and make sure that we have full maneuverability. But I'm not sure with this combine you actually need it. I think I think this combine act would would turn around on a dime if you wanted it to. Uh, the the tracks, the single pair of tracks uh, with no rear wheels just means it, it turns like a tank. This thing, and uh, and can just spin right round, uh, which is incredible. Top end here is where I'm going to set up the GPS. So let's turn it on. Set our first waypoint. Yep. And then drive straight across to the other side. And then set our second one. And yeah, I'm going to redo that. Because that is not the uh, way I want to do it. And again. I oh, remember to switch back to the main body of the combine. Before I do the... Uh, before I switch camera angles. is going to really get to me. But... We are doing okay. We are 50% full off one round of the field. So that's really good. 
Uh, we might hit 11,000 um, litres by the time we hit the bottom of the field. So we'll see where we go there. That is a spot on 180. So set that. Set our width. And just check it. Yeah, that's all good. So we'll turn that off. And uh, yeah, away we go. We're now ready when we get back up here to, uh, to cut into the field. But I would like to have emptied the combine before that point. We're coming down to the bottom end of the field. And yeah, we are verging on 11,000 litres. So I'm going to switch over that. Lift that up. Turn that and we will get the auger out. Ready to empty. 73% uh, full. So I think that 11... Yeah, 11,000 litres is going to be just over 75%. So maybe 76 odd percent. Um, and is going to be about perfect for where we want to be to empty this combine. And there we go. 10, 9, there we are. 11,001 litres. And we can just run out, check there's nothing coming. And yeah, we can uh, we can go and hook up. Right, what I want to do is grab our Z tool. Uh, we can actually cart with either tractor. Do you know what? I'm going to cart with the other tractor. We don't need to be carting with this one. We can cart with the New Holland uh, because it is uh, about the same sort of power level. Um, it will work fine for us for what we need to do. And uh, it is just... It's not got the front loader on it. So it, it works better. Plus, it looks really nice on this trailer. So, yeah. Back it up. Will be a pain to back up to the windmill. But there we go. It's also got a little bit more oomph if we need to handle the hills. So we should be fine. So we'll bring this across the road. Uh, I think it'll fit under the combine. Yes, it will. And there we go. Right, jump in. Empty it out. And we are all good. The unload speed on this combine is not very fast. It's taken a little while to, uh, to get that emptied out. But exactly 50%. So, yeah, there we go. Is that still on? Yes, it is. Let's turn that off. Wow, pH. Yeah, we didn't do any uh, uh, any lime on this field uh, this year. And uh, you can see that in that it's not the greatest yield on here. But it's not bad. I mean, we are getting a good 95 to 100% yield off here. That's not bad at all. I expected much worse when we were uh, when we were going to be doing this. So I'm quite happy with that. That's uh, worked out pretty well for us. And yeah, to have got 11,000 litres and emptied our first load uh, at this point uh, is, yeah, a good yield. I'm, I'm happy with that. This is going to create a lot of sunflower oil. The next thing I want to do is get rid of this little section we've got up the top of the field here. Um, and it's just sort of a, yeah, a little area uh, that we need to cut through and even things up. So let's turn our lines on. And we can see exactly where our... Right, so best place for us to cut in uh, and set ourselves up is going to be here. Let's spin this round. Look at that. Really, as I said earlier, really does turn on a dime. Set up the GPS and in it goes. And then we can just spin around on these really thin bits. 
and, uh, and and get this cut out and cleaned really quickly. And then it'll also square up the field. That's going to miss a bit because of its... Uh, its manoeuvrability is both a blessing and a curse. Sometimes. But it is working fine. And uh, it is going to clear things up really well. That's got that top end of the field up there cleared up. And now we're just squaring off the field up here. Uh, we are going to do six lane cuttings. So we're going to cut all the way to the other side once this is squared up. And then uh, that should be pretty good. Uh, looking at uh, not a bad setup here. Uh, what what row are we on? So we're on row four. Uh, so five, six. I want to go plus seven at cutting. Five, six, uh, plus seven. Uh, if you're wondering what the number I'm talking about is, down the bottom right-hand side where all the GPS settings are, you can see a plus seven. That tells me how many lanes I've moved over from the initial uh, lane. If we have a look at where the line is, it's there. That is still plus seven, so we're still in the right row. But because this is so maneuverable, it's much better to get it lined up before you go into the crop. Otherwise, you find that it uh, kind of does stuff at a bit of an angle. Oh, it would also help if I lowered my header and then we can cut away. And yeah, that should be pretty good. Um, we are at 3,700, 3,800 litres. So we've got a way to go yet before we've got a, uh, uh, another half a trailer full. Um, and yeah, we're going to try and empty again at the 11,000 litre mark. Uh, looking at that top end of that field where we, we had the loam on here. That is incredible. That is... About 120% yield without the right pH value. That is just amazing. I'm having a lot of fun with this combine. This is uh, this is really weird and, and really fun. Uh, I love the turning circle on it. It is so maneuverable. I love the strangeness of its look. Um, it is just... A really lovely piece of kit to be using. And it's something that on a... Certainly on a British series, I probably wouldn't look to use. Uh, something on a, on a European map like this. Um, I feel like I've got a little bit more freedom uh, with the equipment uh, that I can use. And, and that I can have a play around with. And yeah, I am having a whale of a time playing with this combine. And it works really, really well. I mean, you can see the maneuverability it had turning around on the rows there. and uh, But it's also the way that it just slopes forward all the time like that uh, is is great. And, uh, and I love the, the side bits. We actually, unwittingly, we've set this up. Well, sort of unwittingly. Set this up to be the smaller headed version we've got the side bits on the uh the straw chopper at the back we've got the shorter pipe on it as well all of it is just set up to uh to be a smaller farm setup which is great because we're not exactly a huge farm on here also i love the way the fabric uh just waves about on the end of the auger uh, that is really cool as well. Just a, a, a whole thing is just a fantastic setup and really, really well done. We're coming up to 11,000 litres. We might even hit it before the end of this row. So, uh, oh, not quite. So that's good. We'll be able to uh, pretty much hit it exactly again. And uh, in that case, well... We will basically empty our trailer uh, or empty however much we got into the combine into the trailer because uh, it won't be able to take more than 11,000 litres. I'm just watching how full we are. 79, 9. There we go. 11,006. Oh, we were almost as close as last time. Right. Auger is out. Let's go get the tractor and trailer.
This is great. I actually saw a similar setup to this the other day, uh, driving through my local town. It wasn't a uh, New Holland of this age. It was actually a T7, I think it was, uh, pulling a cane trailer like this. Uh, looked a really good setup. Um, yeah, if I could get a T7 with uh, with one of these cane trailers, that would be awesome. Uh, let's pull this up behind like so. And the more I play around with this combine, the more I want to hang on with uh, onto it. The fact that we have the uh, lease to buy mod on here um, really makes me want to keep it. And uh, while we might not get to another uh, harvesting season, in fact, I'm pretty sure we won't um, on here. I, I think it would be a great thing to hold on to. It is just a really, really nice combine. Um, we might just go and try and do a load of contracting with it. We know we can do a whole load of contracts on here. So, uh, yeah, we might we might just go do that. How full is our trailer? We want a bit more towards the front. And there we go. Right, all get in. Only 30 litres too much that we had in the combine. Let's turn the combine off. And, uh, yeah. The thing is that if we go and do a load of contracting with this, uh, what we'll find is... Uh, that all we'll do is end up paying off the cost of the combine. Whereas normally leasing, it would end up costing us uh, a fortune to do it. We know that if we do contracts to do that, what we're doing is paying off the eventual cost of the combine. So it uh, works out pretty well for us doing a, uh, a contract that way. Let's bring this over here. And you never know, we might make a little bit of extra money from it as well and help uh, to afford uh, the combine overall. Only thing that gets me about this tractor is the fact you put it into reverse and it automatically goes into minus one, which is, yeah, a bit annoying because you then have to go back down the gears again. Right, so let's empty this out and uh, then we'll head back up to the field and get going. Before we head up to the field, let's get the sunflower oil going. So it's two to one that this is going to be. Oh, wow. We definitely need to get it going. Look at that. That almost straight up fills it. So activate that. Uh, start getting some sunflower oil out. And hopefully um, that will start working. And now I can get this back up to the field and in fact i'm gonna park this down the bottom of the field because i think we're not gonna get much more than maybe one more full tank off this uh, field so uh yeah not expecting to have to do much more carting here although we'll then move over to that field there halfway through our final cutting and we've just ticked over five and a half thousand liters as well um, yeah, I think we're going to be lucky if we get 11,000 litres off the remains of this field. It's quite a... Uh, yeah, it's not a huge amount. I am I am really intrigued by uh, the level of our yield on here. Um, it's quite interesting. We are hitting probably 100% down the bottom end of this field, uh, which is... Yeah, quite telling uh, that we, we've got the wrong pH level. We can actually push this field further. I'm going to have a look when we get to the end of the field uh, on the on the PDA and see exactly what the yield is. Um, but it seems pretty good. I think we're, we're above 90% on here. Uh, I think we could squeeze out up to 100% on here, which would be fantastic. Uh, considering that this is not the greatest soil in the world and yeah that would be that would be fantastic we need to put some lime on here in order to do that uh, but yeah let's switch across to that and yeah we are up to 7189 meters so uh, a little bit further to go I think we've got it between this and the next field I think we've definitely got another full trailer so that will be 44,000 litres of sunflowers off here, which will make 22,000 litres of 
uh, sunflower oil, which at the current price, and this is the thing, at the current price, which is a little bit below the top price, uh, but I think we're probably going to try and sell. Well, no, we're in October, so it's falling. Uh, is 3,517. So, uh, yeah, the, the current price is not bad. And if we produce any, we could do with selling it. But three and a half times uh, 22,000. Um, that is 66,000 uh, plus another 11. So that's 77,000 pounds worth of sunflower oil. We're going to be looking at for two full trailers off here. That is a massive amount. And that does tell me that I can go and uh, and use this combine to do some contracts. Because, yeah, that is only going to make us more and more money doing that. Last section of the field. This little bulging out bit at the bottom that we added on to it when we are uh, after the first year just to sort of add a little bit of extra field down the bottom here was well worth doing has uh, has paid off in droves um and yeah if there's 600 liters in this last little bit which i don't think there is uh then we will uh, hit that 11,000 um but i think we're going to be lucky to hit 10,500 not a huge problem. I know we have hit 10,500. Fantastic. So I'm going to empty out here so that we can go around the next field without worry of uh, getting, well, going beyond what we, we need to empty. So uh, let's empty this into the trailer. And uh, yeah, we should get another full trailer off uh, here and off the next field which will be absolutely brilliant combine is empty uh or get in and i'm very much thinking of putting like a gateway or a roadway uh just just across here because it is basically straight opposite our yard when we're doing this field that is how we uh get in and out of the field for carting and things and it just makes sense right let's turn this on into the sunflowers and like normal we're gonna come around and uh, we'll do a couple of headlands first and then we'll cut into the field and yeah i don't think we're gonna get eleven thousand uh, off the headlands i think we'll be cutting into the field and we might get a little bit more than a full trailer, but I don't think it'll be much. Two headlands down, and we have 6,589 litres. We are on plus 30, so uh, if we're cutting in, I want uh, 29, 30, 31. I think we want line 32, but 31... 32 that should allow us to line everything up and yeah we'll uh, just reverse out a little bit because it makes it easier to line up and then forwards and yeah it swings around a little bit but that there is where i want to be and yeah we, we we are on course for i, I think for getting the eleven thousand. Uh, plus liters off here um, but uh, we'll see where it takes us we are beginning to lose a little bit of the light so i'm going to put all the work lights on here that we uh that we added uh to see how they all work out and yeah um we'll uh we'll crack on and get the rest of these sunflowers out tonight things have squared up rather nicely we've got a thin slither of sunflowers to cut over this side uh similarly we've got a small area of sunflowers to cut over that side so we're gonna pop over there grab that last slither there which should finish that off we are coming up to ten thousand liters which is great news uh because that means we're very likely to hit the number we want to hit on here 
Um, we are, yeah, we, if we can hit 11,500, that's another full trailer. That's another 22,000 litres going into our windmill this evening, which will make a massive difference. As I said, at the current price, that is 77,000. Um, at the uh, at the price of uh, at the top end, it's nearly eighty eight thousand. So it's it's well worth it. It's well worth I think us going and doing the other uh, sunflower contracts up the top. Now my thing is I'm going to have to go and look at the costs of holding on to this combine versus going and getting combines with those contracts. Because uh, we're coming up to, well, we're going to be coming up to 0.9 of an hour. So we're going to end up paying for another work hour on this combine. Plus, we're going to end up paying for another day if we hold on to it to do other contracts. So, uh, yeah, question very much is, is it going to be worth it for us to uh, hold on to this combine and, uh, and do that? Normally, that's a question I would put to you guys. I, I would ask you, you know, you know, what do you want to uh, to see? Would you like to see me hold on to the combine and do other jobs with it? Uh, but unfortunately, as uh, my holidays are coming up, I'm recording these well in advance. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to make that decision myself, um, and we will see next episode exactly what I choose. Right, so I'm lining it up to empty out first, and then we can just back straight up to our windmill and unload. Uh, 10,500, so we are a 1,000 litres shy of two full trailers off our fields. Not bad, though. I am very, very happy with that outcome. Uh, that is a huge amount. 43,000 litres of sunflowers today and all of it fitting in the trailer take that down and then we'll just reverse this up and tip it look at that now i doubt all of this is actually gonna fit into our windmill in fact yeah there we go so we now have a full windmill uh processing the sunflowers 26,995 and it's yeah it's just uh processing them all can i i might try and sell that canola oil because it's not going to create a full thing it doesn't matter actually we can we can do that later um but yeah we need to let those sunflowers work now so uh the rest of these i think are going to have to go into our grain store for now and then later we will get them out and uh and load them into our windmill to get them processed up we go in the gears round we go reverse it up into reverse nine reverse gears. this has so many gears this tractor there we are and tip this into our store because that's why we have it this is here to take any surplus crop that we can't fit into our windmill for processing and yeah that is a good place for us to finish tonight so um that's pretty awesome i am so pleased 43,000 liters of sunflowers that is going to create a huge amount of sunflower oil for us and uh yeah Am I going to continue with this combine or get one with these contracts? We shall see. For now, though, all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, drop us a comment, and give it a share. Special thanks to all my patrons and channel members. Your support is invaluable in making these videos and helping the channel to grow. For more from Virtual Farmer, check out the links below, follow on Twitch to watch live, and for more videos, subscribe and ring that bell. I will see you next time. Goodbye.